Federal authorities say three men have been arrested and charged after allegedly plotting to carry out an ISIS-inspired attack on large venues in New York City in the summer of 2016. One of the suspects is a Philippine citizen, Russell Salik, seen here in a Manila court in August. He's accused of sending money to help fund the, and fund planned attacks. He allegedly told an undercover FBI agent posing as an Islamic extremist that his ultimate goal was to join ISIS in Syria and that he wanted to slaughter people in New York. A Philippine court is deciding right now whether or not to approve a request of, to extradite Salik to the United States and whether he should face criminal complaints in the Philippines first. The other two, the other two suspects was a Canadian citizen and American living in Pakistan. Federal prosecutors say the three men had aspirations to strike Times Square, concert venues, landmarks, and the New York City subway system with the goal to kill and injure as many people as possible. Vice President Mike Pence is traveling to Las Vegas today to pay his respects to the victims of Sunday's mass shooting. The Vice President and his wife boarded Air Force Two this morning. He's expected to take part in a unity prayer and will deliver a speech at City Hall. The unity prayer, it, the unity prayer walk was organized to help the community heal following the shooting. Iran's president today defended the 2015 nuclear deal with the world power, saying not even 10 Donald Trumps can roll back its benefits to his country. Hassan Rouhani's comments came as President Trump's appeared to be stepping back from his campaign pledge to rip up the deal, instead aiming to take other measures against Iran. Iran accepted curbs on its contested nuclear program as part of the agreement. In return, Iran has benefited from lifting has benefited from the lifting of economic sanctions. President Trump is expected to take new action against Iranian militant groups coming up soon. Dropping back but moving forward, the unlikely 11-year-old quarterback that can't be stopped. That's coming up. And a high temperature of 77 degrees in the Fargo area. Our normal high is 61. We're going to stay quiet, but temperatures are going to be nowhere near this level as we go through the week. Details coming up.